Hey folks, Mark Griffin here, and uh, we're going to take a look right now at the VAMO, variable voltage, variable wattage um, device that I have seen for 40 or $50, depending on what deal you catch a hold of and what coupon code you have or who's selling it for what price. There's a bunch of vendors that have it. I got this one from OKC Vapors, um, but I'm sure there's other vendors that have it. Um, so let's take a close look. So this is the box the VAMO came in. Uh, nothing impressive, going straight in the round file now. Um, this is the full extended unit um, with the longer bottom on. It is significantly longer than a Provaria with an 18650 in it. It is even longer than a Bombshell 2 with a 26650 and a kick on the top. So it is the longest mod I own. It is solid and heavy. I don't think it's stainless steel. I think it's probably chrome plated, I don't know, brass or um, whatever. It's got a nice uh, drip well up there. Two sections, a power and a left and right, um, which usually operate as up and down. Um, we can unscrew the bottom and put an 18650 in. Spring is a little wimpy. There's a vent hole on the bottom and it will flash as it recognizes the battery power and it has a five click on and five click off so we'll turn her on. Now I have a atomizer on. If you hold down the right button for a couple of seconds it will give you the resistance of your atomizer or cardomizer. If you hold down the left button for a couple seconds, it will give you the current voltage of the battery you have inside, 4.2. It's correct, it's fairly new. If you hold down both buttons for a few seconds, it will switch between variable voltage and variable wattage. It shows a little V there when you're in variable voltage and a W when you're in wattage. When you're in voltage, it goes up by 0.1 and down point by 0.1 and then we hold it again for a few seconds and we go back to wattage. There's a little W up in the upper right hand corner and it goes up and down by five. Five clicks and you turn it off. Pocket friendly and all that. So let's take a look at the limitations. Turn her on, five clicks. Sometimes I don't get the five clicks right but it usually comes on. So, and our wattage, we were from three, and we're going up to 15, and then it rolls back over to three. This is where we like it. Hold down both buttons for a minute or two. Well, a couple seconds, and it'll switch to voltage, which goes from three up to six, and then roll around again. Hold it both buttons down and it'll switch to wattage mode and up and down. Now in this long mode it'll take an 18650 or two stacked 18350s which I do not recommend. If you take this extra extension piece off and put in an 18350 and put the bottom cap back on what you have is a fairly conveniently sized a variable wattage and variable voltage device which is roughly the same height as a Provary Mini with the 18490 extension cap on. So still a little long for what the battery is in. But it works, it's fairly easy to use, don't have a lot of settings. So that was a close look at the VAMO. Um, I've been using it in short mode with an 18350 battery. With an 18650, it's just too long um, for me, but that's me. Um, it works. It does what I expect it to. It outputs about the same power when I have it set to the same wattage as a Darwin or a Kick. So it seems to be calibrated appropriately. It is the cheapest of the variable voltage and variable wattage devices that have been coming out of China in the past month or two. 
it's also sort of got the easiest interface. There's not a huge menu to play with. Um, your button, power button, turns it on and off and fires it. Um, one button gives you the up or down to your voltage or wattage. Um, holding one will give you your battery check, holding the other will give you an atomizer check, holding them both will switch you between variable voltage and variable wattage. Now there is another menu option here that I didn't go into which will basically switch you between average and uh, RMS for choosing how it operates. They call it accurate or inaccurate mode. Um, frankly it comes in RMS, just leave it there. Um, you can look up how to play with that menu option if you really want to. Um, I think it's holding down the right button for a very darn long time past when it checks the atomizer. And it will show you N001, which is the inaccurate or average, and N002, um, which is the RMS, in case you ever really wanted to switch them back and forth. Um, I suppose this is my second favorite in this short form factor of the devices that have come out with variable wattage. It's just easy to use. There's not a lot of settings, you just set it um, and forget it, which is what I like about variable power. There's not a huge muck of options and uh, menus to play with. Uh, you hit the button and it fires. And it works great. And I've seen it for as low as $39. Tube only, of course, not a whole kit. Um, for variable wattage and variable voltage, you can't beat that with a stick. Um, that's great. <laughs> um, I, I mean, it, it, it wins a great thumbs up just based on price and functionality alone. Now, it does come, I think, in gunmetal um, and matte, maybe? I'm not sure. I have just a standard chrome, and it's you know, the obvious finger magnet. Um, I've actually been looking at the one place online where you can get like skins to wrap around that, you know, make it look like uh, chrome plated, well not chrome plated, but like, um, I don't know, steel or metal or you know, brightly colored or whatever. And those tend to make it look a little cooler. But again, for 40 or 50 bucks, you get functional working, variable wattage and variable voltage, which will set you up perfectly. You can't beat that either. Um, I still prefer the EVIC a little better, just um, it looks nicer. Um, we'll be able to update the firmware, which has been a blessing already. Um, and it does have some more options. but. If you want to come in on your first mod or a new mod or your first attempt at variable wattage for a really low price, um, you can't really go wrong with the VAMO either. So, happy vaping.